Hello learner, welcome back to our video number two of matrices. And as you can see from the board, we are now moving to something very interesting. Simple operations of matrices. In mathematics, operations mean plus, minus, multiplication, and of course, division. So we want to see how matrices can be added, subtracted, multiplied, or even divided. But before I go there, I have introduced you to this chapter powerfully. I taught you how elements are arranged in a matrix. I also taught you in the previous lesson how uh, you get the types of matrices according to the orders, that is the arrangement of the rows and the columns in a given matrix. Now, um, let us write something very small and then uh, be able to do a few examples on this uh, uh, simple objective. Our matrices can be added. Matrices Matrices can be added. Matrices can be added uh, or subtracted. Come. Subtracted. Matrices can be added, come subtracted if they are, if they are of the same order. If they are of the same, the same order. So matrices of the same order are the only ones that can be added or subtracted. Multiplication and division, different case. Um, we can give an example, just an example. Let us give an example. Whereby we shall say if. These are not the kind of questions you will meet in the exam. If matrix P, which is equal to 2, 5, 4, 0, 7, 3, and Q, and Q, capital letters and bolts, is given by 1, 3, 8, 6, 2, 5, these are the two matrices. So find, find, find P plus Q. So this one is very simple because what we do, we look at the order of these two matrices. And one thing we get is, by the way, this is a two, this is a two by three, two rows times three columns. And this one is also a two by three. That means they are of the same order. Then what we do here is, we add, so first of all, let us write the two matrices. Two, five, four, zero, seven, three, plus uh, one, three, eight, six, two, five. So we add the corresponding elements. I hope you remember what we said in our first uh, video about elements. So element 2 in the first matrix corresponds with element 1. So you add them and come up with the, the answer at that position. So this is 2 plus 1, which is 3. We go to the next element corresponding to 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. Then we have 4 plus 8 is 12. And we also have now the second row. 0 plus 6 is 6. Uh, 7 plus 2, 9. Then finally, 3 plus 5 is 8. So this is the result of adding these two matrices. If it were a minus, which we are supposed to also do, we will say 2 minus 1. Maybe let us write the minus 1. So we ramp this one. So we have successfully calculated that one. Let us now see find P minus Q. Again, we say P uh, 5, uh, 2, 5, 4. Then we have 0, 7, 3, 0, 7, 3, minus 1, 3, 8, 1, 3, 8, and then 6, 2, 5, 6, 
two five. We also do the same way as we've done in addition. We subtract elements that are corresponding. Two minus one is one. Then five minus three is two. Uh, four minus eight is negative four. Then we go to the next row. Zero minus six is negative six. Seven minus two is five. Then finally, uh, three minus five is negative two. Negative two. That one is also successfully done. If you have a two by two matrix and another one three by one, for example. These ones are not of the same order, so it is not possible to either add or subtract. Let us talk about something else, multiplication of matrices, uh, a little bit. Uh, matrix, matrix multiplication. This one is a bit detailed, but uh, at times we have two things we look at here. The first one is uh, multiplying a matrix by a, a scale. A scale. Then we also have the second one. Multiply a matrix, a matrix by another matrix, by a matrix. So in this case, I will show you how we multiply matrices. And in this case, uh, unlike in addition and subtraction, in this case, they don't have to be of the same order. No order follows. I mean, they don't have to be of the same order you can still multiply them. It is possible to multiply uh, matrices even if they are of different uh, orders. Now, let us give an example of when we multiply matrix by, by a scale. Uh, for example, you're told, given that, given that matrix A is 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, find, find, to A. So in this case, 2 is a scalar. So what happens? We shall solve it this way. Solution. We shall write 2 and then we write our matrix which is 2, sorry, 3, uh, 4, 5, and 6. What you need to understand here is the scalar multiplies with all the elements in that matrix. So you will get 2 times 3, you get 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5, 10. And 2 times 6 is 12. So, one very important thing, even if this was a half, 3, negative 1 or something, this scalar opens, the scalar the scalar multiplies, multiplies uh, all the elements, elements in the matrix. matrix. So, objective one by a scalar, successful. We go to multiply a matrix by another matrix. Example, multiplication of a matrix by another matrix. Objective number two. And the last one. Uh, multiplication of a matrix by a matrix. I have noted, I have highlighted, and I've said that. Uh, the matrices, for matrices to be multiplied, they don't have to be of the same order. 
So uh, I will start with those ones of the same order. In fact, I will give an example of a matrix uh, and another matrix, two matrices of the same order, and how we multiply them. It's a bit technical, so pay attention. Example. Example. Given, given that uh, matrix A is 4, 3, negative 1, 2, and C, and C, matrix C, is given by 14, 7, negative 4, 2, uh, find, find, uh, A squared, or oh, find B, sorry, find B, find B, if A squared uh, plus B plus B is equals to C. This is very interesting. We have introduced something that I have not told you, but I will take an advantage and tell you when we solve this one. We have introduced squaring a matrix or multiplying a matrix by itself. That is what this part means. When you square a matrix, you multiply the matrix. For example, it's called the matrix one. You multiply by itself. So that is what I want to highlight on that part. So let me, I hope you've written. So I will clear the board. And now we do that cooperation. So already we have said that A, matrix A is 4, 3, negative 1, 2, we don't have B, and C is 14, 7, negative 4, and 2, and our problem says A squared plus B is equals to C. A squared plus B is equals to C. We are looking for, find B. We are looking for B. Find uh, B that we are not given. So in this case, you first of all arrange your matrices according to the order that you are given in the question. So we'll begin with A. So we have 4, 3, negative 1, 2, squared, which means you multiply by itself, 4, 3, negative 1, and 2. When it is squared, it means you multiply by itself. Then plus a matrix B that we don't know. We can give B some letters, unknown letters. We can give it unknown letters. We can call it A, B, C, D. And then is equals to C is given 14, 7, negative 4, and 2. So what we do first is we multiply this matrix. Remember our example is mainly based, based on multiplication of matrices. Now when we multiply matrices, we multiply rows versus columns. In multiplication, we say rows times columns. So we say row, row that goes horizontally, and then times column that goes uh, vertically. So in this case, I have underlined. That means we start with the first element, 4 times 4. So we shall get the following. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 3 times negative 1. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. We have gotten the first value in the first element. If you want the second one, we will still do the first row times the second column, which is 4 times 3, which is 12, plus 3 times 2, which is 6. We are done with the first row, and we are multiplying the first row with the first and second columns. We go to the second row. So this is the first row, row 1. This is row 2. 
So row one multiplied by the two columns, we get our first two elements. Row two again, negative one times four is negative four, plus two times negative one is negative two. And then finally, negative one times three, negative three, then plus two times two, which is four. That is how you multiply the matrices. So this is going to be uh, 16 minus 3, which is 13. And then 12 plus 6 is 18. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Then 4 minus 3 is 1. So this is the product of multiplying A by itself or A squared. So now this one plus <coughs> sorry A B C D unknown matrix B A B C D will give us the product I mean the, 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 the answer uh, which is 14 C which is 14 7 negative 4 2 14 14 7, negative 4, and 2. So now we are at a point where right? we discussed this. Now we are through with multiplication. We are now at a point of adding and subtracting. All these matrices are the same order. That is okay. So now corresponding elements. Check on this. Corresponding, corresponding elements. That is what I want you to uh, apply here. So that team corresponds with A. And of course, corresponds with 14. So what we did in our first video in this chapter, you still apply it. So we shall say, uh, if we want A, we want to begin by calculating A. 13 plus A is equals to 14. So this one gives us A is equals to 14 minus 13, which is equals to 1. So A has been gotten. So our A is one we go to b i am limited of space so we go to b b corresponds with 18 so this one corresponds and of course with 7 so we have 18 plus b is equals to 7 so if you want b you shall say b is equals to 7 minus 18 so b is equals to negative 9. 7 minus 18, negative 9. We go to the next one. It's good to confirm. Sorry, negative 11. This is negative 11. Negative 11. So our B is negative 11. It's good to confirm. I had to use my calculator a little. We go to C. C corresponds with negative, sorry, C corresponds with uh, negative 6. So negative 6 plus C is equals to the C on this end, negative 4. So it will be C is equals to negative 4 plus 6. C is equals to 6 minus 4, which is 2. C is 2. And finally, D. 1 plus D. 1 plus D. 1 plus D is equals to 2. So if we want D, we shall say uh, 2 minus 1, you take 1 to the other side. So your D is 1. Our D is 1. So the matrix B has successfully been gotten. And that matrix is, you now write the matrix properly. You write, you write the matrix, you start with A, A is 1. 1, then B, B is negative 11, C is 2, and D is 1. So this is the matrix that we were looking for. Very successfully, we have done this example, and it has carried two things. The first thing is multiplication of a matrix. Number two is the simple operation of uh, addition and subtraction of matrices. From this lesson to the next lesson, please pay attention. We still getting to the bottom of this thing and you shall enjoy it. From this lesson to the next one, see you.